Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos, and welcome back to another episode of Hospitalize. We are building the Chaos Med facility, and uh, we have some stuff happening over here. We've got painkillers can't be completed in the laboratory department, missing a pharmacist specialization. I think, did I, did I start looking at that? Uh, this is what I wanted. Departments, the laboratory, one unassigned manager, and some scope errors. Let's have a quick look at what's going on in scope here. What is the scope error though? This one has scope errors too. Fixing the issues might help us efficiency. Unassigned manager, scope errors. No, this one doesn't have scope errors anymore. For some reason. Let's see this one. See, this one doesn't have scope errors either. So something's not quite right. But what I was in the, uh, wondering about is, sorry, go back to the laboratory, go to the staff. So here, do we have anybody with some kind of specialization? We have laboratory, laboratorarian, something like that. Laborator, laboratorarian. Okay, and what was I, I was thinking that I probably was looking for a nurse that has a specialization as a pharmacist. The nurses go for around there. Definitely just gonna do the one hour. How's our, yeah, we've got a decent money. So let's post a job after and we'll see what's going on. Yeah, I think that's where we ended off with this, with this issue over here. Okay, we're starting to see some of these come in. So I'm keen to, so of course what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get three of them. Oh, look at that, blood. Pharmacist 16, Pharmacist 18. That's pretty good. Anything better than that? 19. Um, okay, so let's pause it quickly. Just quickly have a look at the department. So laboratory is, um, is pretty much peaked over here can we assign what what rooms are assigned over here oh laboratory is the lab and the um and the pharmacy so <clears throat> radiography doesn't have anything else i'm kind of wondering whether we need something where a nurse can actually work or do we fire those nurses? No, don't know. Do nurses work here? I'm not sure they do. Anyway, we can't take them anywhere. So let's, um, shall we add a new new department? Let's just do the um, surplus department. Let's add the surplus department. No employees, no rooms, no scope set up. That's fine. Let's leave the surplus department for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move these uh, lab staff, these, that are off shift, they've got nothing to do. Um, I'm just going to move them to the surplus piece. Surplus, surplus, and surplus. They go there. Okay, now let's keep this running and let's get some of these... Uh, these like 19 and stuff pharmacists in here we've lost the 19 one well let's grab the 18 one at least higher for the lab lab department for the well for the day shift got a bit of a message over here Sixteen, sixteen is about as good as it gets over here. That's pretty good. Let's hire this one for the lab department for the night shift, which is now. Anything else? Anything else? Jumping out at me, another sixteen over there. Yeah, that's about all right. Let's just do that. And that's lab for the evening shift. Perfect. 
so that's it uh, now that's in place so we don't have a manager of course because that's not going to work so what we could do is we could actually assign a doctor to uh, to this my goodness look at this so what someone told me in the ex uh, I think we need a probably need a few more cleaners let's actually do that let's grab a few more cleaners that'll sort things out uh, so now let's post for a cleaner specialization cleaners don't have specialization it seems let's see how how low we can get it over here yes so interesting someone told me or in the comments seems like we can actually assign a room oh something happened board of directors a sonography so what kind of rooms do we have are we do we have it what are we doing at the moment is sonography is coming once we do build one operating theater perform one surgery okay so we've got the nurses probably going to be detailed what is that interesting interesting the doctor is hanging out over here so someone told me we can actually assign this to be some kind of room so i'm kind of tempted to to assign this to be maybe even a doctor's room and we'll we'll see what that is so if we go into rooms right if i select that room can we also assign that to so at the moment what is it at the moment it's a radiography x-ray and the question is if we then also assign it to something else like let's say we're going to assign it to to be an office as well but then what it does it it needs a it needs an extra chair so what i'll do is i'll then also come here to furniture grab an extra chair and we will squeeze it like right over there and see if that does any difference so now what i can do is i can actually assign a doctor to the radiography department so the chair is coming let's grab a doctor oh we wanted to get some more of these people so yeah 912 seems to be the absolute minimum so we're going to go for some high discipline let's just uh one in the day shift uh one in the evening shift and over here one in the night shift so at least we'll get some extra cleaners running through here so there's the chair coming in so that should now work excellent so now that's fine so now you can actually do both things in here so that's done invoice over there so now what we could do is actually the other thing is we can also make it an examination room for some for some reason uh, but the problem is we'll have to set up a room uh, a rule to do that so certain things the doctor should be able to do anyway we'll get get to that later at the moment let's focus on getting that operating room in place so what do we need in an operating room <clears throat> operating uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. where was it general ward examination room okay so operating theater um requires uh, a medical cabinet a vital signs monitor operation bed and a sink okay so i'm kind of tempted to actually extend the operating theater right in here and what we'll do is we'll just do a little bit of a corridor so let's grab the uh, the wall piece okay and now i'm kind of kind of wondering about actually that I'm thinking you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab ooh, electronic door I'm gonna grab an electronic door I'm gonna squeeze it in there I'm gonna uh, store this double door okay and then I'm gonna start building walls let's just quickly grab from, from a furniture perspective let's quickly grab oh, well medical a hospital bed so I'm thinking that spot right there. Okay, so now that can be a pretty decent ward. Where are all my workers? What are they doing? What is this guy doing? Is he doing anything? He's just hanging around there. Okay, so get me my walls. 
Okay, hang on. Structure walls, and I'm gonna run it up there. Okay, so build that. So this will be the ward, and it's just gonna be the one, like so. And then the question in my mind is if we get rid of that. We c actually, you know what? We should probably just leave it there. And we'll do that. What's going on with this double door? We can leave it there. We can leave the double door de there. Oh, we need more. Actually, let's get some more of these beds. Medical uh, hospital bed. Uh, so let's squeeze in more of these beds. That's fine. Let's get these four beds. So if we can fill that up, that'll be very helpful. And now I'm kind of thinking we're going to split this room into two. How many, how many spots? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, third, twelve. So yes, twelve is not going to work well for us. So it's like one, two. So it's not. It's just going to be like that. So let's squeeze it through there and let's get two kind of electronic doors. Well. Let's let's get that built first. These beds are, are running on empty. There's tons of nurses hanging around that we're not paying for. What's going on? Green square, crowded room. What is that saying? Okay, hang on. Let's see. Help in Austria. Hopefully it's a nurse. No, it's a surgeon. A surgeon. Uh, let's decline that for now. And then a crowded room. What's going on over here? I think that some of the rooms in the hospital are too crowded. Okay, thank you. Ooh, ooh, they've got some uh, some messages over there. Can't actually uh, rotate the screen at all. So let's uh, let's have a look. So if we want to have medical, we need uh, vital signs. Okay, so if, uh, let's start with the big stuff. So let's start with the operation bed. And that is very pricey. I can't afford it. Don't have enough money for that thing. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of these nurses in the surplus bin. Should I though? They are pretty good and they load. How do we get rid of them? We can't fire them over here. Yeah, we need better specialization, so we're going to get rid of these. It's not great, but we're going to get rid of them. Leave the hospital, and then off shift, and, and that's it. So getting rid of them. So surplus is doing nothing. That's fine for now. And then these ones are saying underside managers, because we don't actually have the ability to make a nurse a manager. Which is a little crazy. We need more money. Look at this. Where are all my cleaners? Cleaners are hanging around here. It's pretty good actually. Yeah, these people are coughing and crazy and lots of waiting going on over here. Probably probably could do by just extending that and making it a little bit bigger let's do that let's do that uh, structure and let's uh, extend that like so to so start building straight away then what we'll do is we'll make this um, this waiting room nice and big a better waiting room facility what is actually the holdup over here? Let's quickly go a look. Let's see at the polyclinic. What is going on? Management. So the waiting time is not too bad. Um, we can unlock an additional manager here at some point. 
Um, okay, that's pretty good. Scope activity. So in queue for this, so throw away trash. Patient consultation two in the queue in progress. Nine patient consultations in progress. That's crazy. Okay, but all in all, six minutes is not a long waiting time. The max is 10 minutes. That feels fine. In the lab, what's happening over here? There's an 11 minute wait in the lab. So there might just, we might start seeing a little bit of a look at what's going on there. What's happening in activity? Ooh, patient consultation in the queue. For what exactly? Patient, patient consultation. In the uh, in the lab over here. So maybe what we should do is we should add another lab. Feels a little bit uh, feels like we may need to do that. Hmm. Tempted to two. tempted to add another. Uh, we can't because we've got <laughs> we've got the nurses on there. But what we'll do is we'll just do a pharmacy one. We'll just do a pharmacy department. That's what we'll have to do. I believe that's just what we're going to have to do. Um, but there's no one waiting now. So what's going on over here? So our doctor's consultations certainly seem to be... We probably need a few more doctors. Okay, I think we need to look at revamping what we're, what we're doing with our departments. Vice President, extend your hospital with one general ward for almost no money whatsoever. Ever. That doesn't feel like, uh, and there's no no real reason for that. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm thinking we should add a new, new. We should add a new one. So hang on. Okay, let's have a look. So I think what we need to do is actually run through the stats of these uh, these patients. So if we go, hmm. so if we go through what, what exactly? Ah, this one, and we go through all patients. So let's see what's going on over here. So diagnoses is undiagnosed, 21 undiagnosed. That is getting out of hand. Uh, too much, blood analysis, blood analysis, blood analysis, blood analysis. Patient consultation. Okay, hang on. More doctors. More doctors. And we need to split it somehow, I believe. So what I'm going to do is grab the construction. Oh, I've already done that. So let's let's just... Um, no. Let's just clear out. Let's just clear out the walls there. I'm probably going to clear out that wall as well so let's clear out those walls and at the same time let's build some more structure over here and shall we see about adding that's probably not right can I cancel this white wall oh I can cancel it let's uh, let's do that let's do that and let's extend it a little bit more like so so if you build that for us we should be able to f squeeze in two more rooms in there one two three four yeah four is a nice is a nice size so get building on that get that out of the way um i'm kind of tempted to say let's uh no no i don't want to necessarily i want the chair let's store these chairs Uh, and that let's store those chairs and then let let me get some more furniture over here so if I go to furniture I want to grab the what is it that we're looking for the counter so let's do that's like can we how So yeah, let's do two of them. 
Okay. And then we'll take the chairs back. Like that. And we'll add the chairs there plus a bit of a sofa plus another chair in that spot once it's all done oh and this one let's put that back in storage and let's see what's happening S spending a lot of money on this okay now stuff is going crazy over here What's happening? Whoops. Receive patient can't be completed in the polyclinic department. Missing a reception area. This is the reception. Oh, you know what? We need to just assign this room. So this room, please, is a polyclinic room and it's the reception. Have I lost the reception? It's the reception area and it's the waiting room. Okay. Like that. There we go. Okay, now with people moving around, we can do some more seating over here as well. I don't like the sounds. So the waiting room is a little crazy. So yes, we definitely need to get more doctors up and running. So that's happening. Grab me the structure. Give me the walls. Let's run that through there. Let's get some doors in place. There and there. Then. Okay, so this time around, what I'm going to try and do is see if we can multitask these facilities. So what I'm keen on doing is adding a examination bed. Okay. Yeah, let's add an examination bed in these. And we'll also get... Yeah, I think that's about it. So we'll get some examination beds in there. And then we'll get some furniture and we'll do the desks. Okay, we'll get the office chairs. there and there and we'll get the standard chairs there and there so now these are going to be so now we're gonna need a new department for these doctors though and who does the work in the examination room actually you know what I can just do okay let's go and select this room and make sure that this is an examination room as well Oh, it's an examination room, but it should be an office too. So let's do that. That's good stuff. So now we can start doing that. Let's grab an extra um, examination bed and we'll squeeze it in here. And then once that's in there, we will also make this room an examination room too. Perfect. So now these will double up. We'll do make that one an examination room too by putting a bed in there. A medical cabinet. Oh, I forgot about that. Let's get the medical cabinets. There. 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 And there. Quickly get those in there. So hopefully we can get this through. Uh, and this room over here can also then be double up as an examination room perfect so that's the um, that's the polyclinic right doing nine staff members I believe that's nine staff that we're looking at there what are we looking at so staff is one two three four five six doctors and three nurses This is so much happening over here. Um, okay, so now in this area, we're going to do a new department. Let's grab a new department. Well, let's rename this department. 
let's rename this to so we just call it general diagnosis let's just call it the diagnosis department diagnosis okay we'll do that and we'll add some employees to the mix so who's giving me what administration hospital beds one of our patients should have been hospitalized but there was no spare bed we should consider more hospital beds for our patients uh, this there is plenty of hospital beds i don't know what you're talking about okay back to the department so the, the diagnosis department um actually let's have a look at the scope add no we can't do templates so what we're going to do is we're going admission by bus department to handle this instead no uh, <clears throat> my goodness so condition greater than how is the condition of the the patients in general let's have a quick look oops all what is the condition of the patients i don't have any patients there's 25 patients going on patients over here so opinion the condition is pretty s what does that mean is that a good condition or a bad condition what does that mean polyclinic 100 percent i don't quite know i'm guessing it's bad I'm guessing it's bad so this with diagnosis if we go to scope and we say condition um, less than less than 50 okay and then all symptoms and treatments and okay so diagnosis um, any diagnosis all right so if we do that uh, if I quickly go to the rules for the polyclinic scope uh, it's any symptom and it's by bus um, so if I go back to diagnosis it's in its condition any diagnosis and symptoms any symptom as well no symptoms any symptom any symptom any diagnosis so let's quickly assign these rooms to our new Oh, actually hang on we need to do this in not in there but in here so let's assign these rooms that one yes and this one yes so they've got two rooms in there it should be sharing why is it not saying there's no free beds oh you know what I think this room is not what is this this is a general ward there we go that's why things are going crazy. Our ward went went out, out of whack because of what we did in here. Um, okay, so now those rooms are in place. Now let's get a few doctors in here. So doctors with what specialization? You, oof, there's a lot. Gastro. Ah, oh, so I think this could potentially be... Okay, hang on. We're struggling with diagnosis in general, so surgery maybe this becomes the surgery department so let's do that we'll try and get whatever we can over here so let's look for that what we'll do is we will get um two three doctors surgeons six we're gonna have to get six alternatively we'll yeah well six will have to be the case so this will be the surgery department to be honest but they can also do that for now to help out perfect so surgeons with like a 20 skill that's pretty good so let's pause that let's grab this one for us for the diagnosis department for the day shift please anybody else pretty decent 17 19 19 let's grab 19 uh, and we're going to hire the diagnosis for the evening shift 17 17 
15, 16, 17. Yeah, so 17 it's going to be. Okay, so which one of these? It's just going to be this one, I think. So, and so diagnosis the bottom days and the night shift, please. So now, if I have a quick look at the department, the diagnosis department has got staff in night, evening, and day shift. Management, it needs to select a manager that is this one. Discipline is good. Surgery, no manager benefits. Okay, then actually, that's fine. Let's see someone with better discipline then. All right, there. So now we're going to get some better performance. So what is this patient's problem now? Therapy. Physiotherapy can't be completed in the diagnosis department. Missing an examination room. You have examination rooms. Let's just uh, double check that we've... Ah. So it's an office and an examination room. And this one is an office and an examination room. Now you should be fine. Getting a doctor coming in. My goodness, I hope we can get it done. Okay, guys, I'm going to put a cut in here. What's going on over here now? Now there's some nurse staff at ward can't be completed in the diagnosis department missing the nurse staff. So, yes, we're going to need some nurses in there too. So let's grab some nurses. Oh, actually, let's do that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you've liked it, hit the button and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.